Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. In this video we're going to be taking a first look at the headshot stash that has popped up in the game. And as you can see the items in here are just the princess cards and the paw pins for the event. So nothing too, you know, drastic in terms of what we can get. There's not going to be some really low end prize in terms of just like a grenade or something like that. But there is a variance within these rewards, within the princess cards and within the poor pins. And this variance is part of the issue in terms of the odds breakdown does not show the variance of these items. So you don't know the chances of getting the highest within the S-Class collectibles or the lowest within the S-Class collectibles. The highest within the event collectibles or the lowest within the event collectibles. And that is a major issue in terms of putting people off spending on these sort of wheels you're kind of just going in for a lottery the, the upside is if you do get 50 pulls you're guaranteed everything in here but if you're not going for 50 pulls and let's say you're going for 10 it's good to know the odds here and generally speaking it should be the way it's done this is a major complaint that i've had with the premier wheel the same situation when it comes to the cards for premier characters they are in the wheel like these davy cards right here are the collection item but in the odds breakdown, it just sits there and it says 30%. We don't know the variance odds. You can get as low as, I think you can get single digits. I'm not 100% certain. You, it doesn't, I don't even know the breakdown of the lowest amount of items you can get. I think you can get up to a thousand, but I don't think there's any numbers between a hundred and a thousand. So it's like between 10 and 99 and then a thousand. But we don't know the odds breakdown here. And I think they're going to probably be losing people based on that because obviously on this stash it's the same situation there is an offer for one pull and i'm going to be buying that because both of these items are good you know for me i need poor pins for the event and i can use them in the museum as well to get some bags of whatever i choose and the princess cards are useful as well because i'm still going for princess so regardless of what i get here it's good it kind of reminds me of the day you offer that i got recently where either reward was good but in that offer there were solid odds on that because there was no variance so you it was you already knew how good an offer is this one it's just on this one you could get as low as 100 princess cards or as low as a thousand poor pins neither are great but that's pretty much what you've got to look at at this point. If you're going for that one pull, would you be happy with a thousand of poor pins or a hundred princess cards? If you're not, then I don't think even the lowest offer is for you. Fortunately, I am in a situation where making content around this stuff, I can make this money back quite easily. So that's the only reason I purchase these lower offers. Generally speaking, I would ward you off buying these if you do not want to go for the lowest potential outcome because it's most likely going to be that lowest potential outcome. Until we see the odds, we're not aware of that, that potential, how likely that is to be, and I still think those should be published. So we have purchased the offer, and there probably is going to be follow-up offers after this one as well. We'll see if anything pops up. It'll pop up straight away. It'll probably pop up with... If it does pop up, I'll, I'll switch back and check it out. We'll do the poll. Um, I don't really prefer anything here. I just prefer the bigger, obviously the bigger stuff. Not a hundred princess collectibles and not a thousand poor pins if possible. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. So I'll do the pull and let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. We're going to get collectibles. It's 10,000. Okay. So we got, I think we got the highest one possible. I think 10,000 was the highest one possible. I think that's the luckiest I've ever been a stash. There were five. There were five 10Ks. So that was pretty decent for me. That's going to be probably... I'm probably going to go for the trainer bag here on this region. So that'll be like 10 trainers for a pound for me. And so the issue is here, these could have actually equal odds. We just don't know. And <laughs> that's the issue. So if they don't publish the odds, you've got to assume the worst pretty much in that I just got really lucky with like 0.5% or 1% odds of getting one of the 10Ks. And it's going to be you know closer to like 75 percent plus to get one of the 1000s within that group but i'm going to do the pull on my other region as well and i'll switch across so we have purchased the offer in this region and it's going to give it to us yes yes one thing i will say is the token does look pretty sick though it does look really nice i like that so same dealio, I probably prefer the princess cards in this region and I think I'm just over a thousand away. So 
It doesn't matter the amount I get, everything will just go towards what I need. And it's going to be the cards? A hundred. A hundred, it is the lowest amount. But I'm less than a thousand now, I'm pretty sure, that I need for Princess. We'll just double check. We'll just double check. I think I've just gone over 5k with that. And I have just about. So, it's getting me on my way. And that's why I think this offer potentially could have been good. I could have potentially thought, hey... This isn't going to be worth the second offer, maybe like another five pounds. I could get a few more pulls. I could get some more princess cards. But just because I don't know the odds, as much as I got the lowest there, simply put, there needs to be an odds breakdown of the collection items. I think I've been saying this for about three or four months. I think so. Pretty bad. It's an ongoing thing. We did see with the Lewis collection when it first came out, it seemed like they were potentially trying to get the odds breakdown of the collection items, but. Either it bugged out or it wasn't meant to be showing like that in the first place. Hopefully that was just like a test to see if they could get it going. Because that does need to come in. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Do tell me if you do any pulls on the headshot stash. Did you get as lucky as me in my other region? I, I guess I got pretty lucky. Not so lucky in this region, but it's all carrying towards the S-Class. I'm getting closer and closer to getting her, so I'm happy enough. That is the end of my video though, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.